Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon Boss Beginner Series. This is episode 3. Today we're going to talk about experience and experience potions. So by now, unless you're extremely new to the game, you probably know pretty much everything there is to know about experience. Um, this is going to be geared toward a really new player. So there are a couple of different types of experience. We're going to be dealing with uh, player experience as well as hero experience. So if we take a look at our hero roster to start with, we'll see that uh, anytime you can upgrade a hero, you will see the little green diamond. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade uh, Yasmin. The green diamond is indicating that she has abilities that need to be uh, upgraded compared to her level. It doesn't necessarily indicate that she can be upgraded via her level, um, but uh, if you look at the player level, we're player level 5 right now. So when we're player level 5, that means all of our heroes can be level 5 as well. So even though we saw on that other screen that there was other heroes that weren't level 5, they didn't give us the indicator that they could be upgraded. So as your roster gets a little bit deeper, or just as you're normally playing, you may not necessarily notice that indicator. So we see that Rogar can be upgraded, as well as uh, Shadow Queen Darius can be upgraded as well. So as you're playing through, it's possible that you might miss out on the fact that some of your heroes could be leveled up. In general, you want to try and keep up as best as possible with your experience, but uh, within reason. So we're going to go into our experience here. So she has 0 out of 20. We have a couple of 20 XP potions. So the goal when you're doing experience, much like gold, is you want to be cautious about where you actually spend your experience potions. There are going to be certain heroes that warrant the experience much more than others. Um, the other thing to notice when you're spending experience, try to keep the upper level open. So if I use this 100 experience, all it did was it set me up to level cap, but it didn't actually take me one further. So when you get towards the last level, don't spend any more experience on it, and then just use those heroes in the dungeons to get that last little bit of experience. Now, if you want to use your experience uh, potions and take them all the way up to the end, keep in mind you're going to be wasting a lot of experience. When I play through the regular campaign, I actually tend to keep some of the heroes scaled back a little bit so that I'm not wasting any of the XP potions that I'm actually using. You'll see now that uh, multiple heroes are ready for upgrades, that's going to refer to their skills now rather than their levels. They're all at the same level. So when it comes to uh, experience, basically you can earn it in a couple of different spots and you can spend it in a couple different spots as well. Um, so if you go into the shop, one of the things that I want to point out, every single day you should be going into the specials tab here and you should be buying this 400 XP potion. It's an extremely valuable uh, potion. It may not seem like it right away, but uh, once you hit around level 40 or 50, you're going to start running out of experience potions. And if you start stockpiling these as early as possible, um, it's going to be extremely helpful for you. So you can buy two of those per day. Um, so definitely uh, do that uh, as much as your gold storage will allow. Similar to, like I said, with spending gold and upgrading abilities, don't uh, waste too many experience potions um, on terrible heroes. Another way that you can increase your experience is by going VIP. I was going to show it here on this account and show the bonuses you get, um, but you can't actually cycle through the bonuses in, in this spot here. I was looking to see if you could cycle through the individual levels, um, and I didn't notice that. So uh, I'm going to check it down here as well just to see if it's out here. I think once you purchase something and get your first VIP, you can cycle through what the, the unlock bonuses are. But once you hit a certain tier, you'll actually get a 50% bonus on experience potions. So if you're committed to uh, the VIP route, um, the earlier you do that, the better it's going to benefit you with the experience potions. So look at your hero roster. Obviously, there are a ton of heroes. There's a ton of heroes that don't need to be upgraded. Um, or even leveled up until very, very late in the game because they're pretty much useless. So um, when it comes out, definitely take a look at my hero priority guide. It will help you determine 
if it's worth committing uh, experience to the heroes that you have uh, at the particular level. Otherwise, uh, if you're looking for recommendations in terms of whether or not to upgrade somebody uh, and spend that valuable experience, uh, definitely leave some comments below and uh, we can address those on an individual case-by-case -case basis. Otherwise, uh, just to reiterate, like I said, you want to try and save as much experience potion as possible. The reason being is once you start getting a larger hero roster, once you get towards the end of it, um, you run into an issue where every time you level up, you have to spend all those experience potions uh, taking everybody up to the next tier of level, which can take a lot of uh, experience potions. Um, on top of that, uh, if you look at uh, just the experience cost alone for some of the high-end heroes once you get up to, uh, to level 70, it takes a lot of those uh, big potions, and the only place you get those usually is in the Heroic Summon. Um, so you have to uh, be cautious about uh, how you're actually going to, uh, you know, spend those. So hopefully this was somewhat informative. Like I said, it's more towards the, the newer player if you're just curious about uh, if and when you should spend certain experience potions. Um, like I said, we can always address those on a case-by-case -case basis. So let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, stick around for next time, which will be episode four, which we'll talk about gems. Thanks for listening.